That's a very good point. Mr. Varamara Rao, how can you try to throw out the government of India from its own territory? You know, that's that's the question. You can't establish a parallel state. Eh? No, it's not, it's not a question of parallel state. In fact, no, no, they, they, they can stand for a new democratic revolution. No, by by consolidating the people, they will make the people to rise against the state government. And we say that when you're talking about the terrorist activities, the state itself has become a terrorist. The imperialism itself has become a terrorist. And it is unleashing, unforeseen, perpetuating the violence on the people. And you are you are talking about a beheading a person in certain area. Yeah, Mr. And you are Varadar talking about a kidnap and your state becoming a terrorist. In between, it uh -huh. has happened in uh -huh. Orissa. The CRPF people. Uh, no, no, but Mr. Rao, here I correct you. Correct. Yeah, Even the Maoists are very seriously concerned. Okay, just a second. Let me get in Dipankar Banerjee. No, no. Dipankar yeah, Banerjee, very, very quickly. Very quickly. Very quickly. Only yesterday, you are not talking about it. Only for three hours. Okay, Mr. Varavara Rao, we've got your point. Can I have your Mr. Varavara Rao, we've got your point. Can I have your point? 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 Can I have in several instances of un, uh, un, right. unrestrained Very use quickly. of force against innocent people, they have really undermined the concept of use of force. But at the same time, to accept that anybody with any sort of disaffection with the state uh -huh. or any sort of grievance can't take can up then arms. take them out and fight against Very the quickly. state. You know, uh, can, I think it's time take that up uh, and we fight change against the, the nature of our discourse. Uh -huh. Uh, I mean, this whole violent stream started with the Prime Minister describing the Naxalites as the principal security, internal security threat. Of threat. India. I mean, uh, as if we don't have uh, Hindutva, communalism, yeah. we don't have poverty, the appalling uh, human yeah. development record uh, in our uh, but, UNDP but, but, report. But, Mahadi, no, no, isn't it going listen, to become very immediately difficult after that, no, if you no, take a train hostage and say, that, okay, now you have to think about our socio-economic no, 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 problems? You know, then, then comes the Home Minister who says you have to clear the space for development. Now, you know, until today, at least the government was saying that development as well as law and mm -hmm. order, both have the answers. Now the present strategy is law and order, more force. We're losing and the two pronged the, approach. The West Bengal Chief Minister has said we will teach them a lesson. I mean, look at the discourse. May I request that no. we kindly tone it, down. tone it down, talk about democracy, okay. people's rights, rather than violence and confrontation. Let us talk see, about dialogue and unconditional right. dialogue. See, I very would, quickly. I would say that the Indian democracy is very indul indulgent. Uh -huh. It's very accommodating. These people are talking of state terror. If there was a Maoist government in India, let us for a moment right. assume, the, the Naxalites would have been decimated, the okay. Northeast insurgents would have been steamrolled, right. and the Horiyat people would have been in life imprisonment. Okay, right. We're going to have to actually end it there, unfortunately. Prakash Singh, Manoranjan Mohanty, Shubir Bhomik, Dipankar Banerjee, Varavara Rao, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Uh, that was it. Uh, at the end of this dramatic day when Maoists held a train hostage for four hours in Jhargram in West Bengal, that train is now safe, the passengers are safe, the train has been released, but the debate rages on. Are Maoists terrorists or are they simply orphans of the new Indian economy? Write into ibnlive.com and send us your feedback. Thanks.